Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 36 is a problem based on the mixing of solutions. In this problem, we are given the first solution having volume 750 ml and molarity 0.5 molar of HCl is added to another solution having volume 250 ml and molarity is 2 molar of HCl. Now, when these solutions are combined, the final solution is going to have the volume of 1000 ml and let us say that final molarity is equal to M final. Now combining, uh, balancing the moles of the solute, if we compare the initial moles and the final moles. So we can say that initial moles in the first solution we are 750 into 0.5 divided by 1000. The second solution that was added had 250 into 2 divided by 1000 moles. And they will be balanced with the final moles in the final solution, which are equal to uh, 1000 into M final divided by 1000. Solving this equation, M final comes out to be equal to 0.875 molar. So on this basis, we can say that option 1 is correct for question number 36. In question number 38, we have to compare different kinds of statistical velocities for an ideal gas. Uh, we are given that the most probable velocity is equal to C star. We can write it equal to 2RT divided by M under root. Uh, we are also given that average velocity of the gas is equal to C bar its value is going to be 8RT divided by pi m. And last we are given the RMS velocity is equal to C whose value is 3RT divided by m. Now if we determine the ratio of these three types of velocities, we can calculate that this ratio is going to be equal to uh, 1 is to 1.128 is to 1.225. According to this solution, option 3 must be correct for question number 38. So in question number 39, it is based upon the chemical kinetics. We are given that on increasing temperature for from 300 Kelvin to 310 Kelvin, the rate of the reaction has doubled. Now we can assume that the rate of the reaction for any order is going to be directly proportional to the rate constant. It doesn't matter what the order is since we are assuming that concentration is going to be constant. So we can say that the ratio of the rates at two different temperatures should be equal to ratio of the rate constants. So K2 upon K1 can be taken equal to 2. Now if we use Arrhenius equation, we can write log of K2 divided by K1 is equal to activation energy divided by 2.303 times R gas constant into 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. Now substituting the data that are given to us, we can put K2 upon K1 equal to 2 activation energy Ea we have to determine value of R in joules is 8.314 into 1 upon 300 minus 1 upon 310 Kelvin. Now solving this equation, the value of activation energy comes out to be nearly 53.6 kilojoules per mole. So according to this solution that we are getting, option 1 should be correct for question number 39.